everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with show live coming to you from the beautiful New York City. A little rainy out tonight, but that's okay. We can either A, not go out or B, take a cab. <laughs> Anyways, tonight we're going to talk about the market and now we have a situation which let's talk about tonight. So there are two market indexes that I follow as a day trader. One is the QQQs and the other one is the SPY. I know a lot of people follow the Dow, but these are the ones that I like to go with. Now, usually these two markets go together, but I will tell you in the last year, year and a half or so, the SPY has made a larger, greater move upward and rally than the Qs. The SPY has made several new highs. The Qs have not. The overall long time, all time high in the QQQs is 120-ish. We have not gotten up and over that yet. Although, it does look like we still will. The timing of that now is completely off though. Why? Because of the anomaly. So before we go over what happened today, let's go over the actual positioning of this situation here, which I call the anomaly. It's the day of all days when I rolled out of bed and had a thousand texts and emails and everyone said, the market's filling up the planet. And I said, wait, let's just situate ourselves. And here's where actually using your head counts. Now, I have a gap rating system where I rate the gap. The market actually gapped down on August 24th. So you know what? I just decided to rate it. If the gap rates 20 points or more, if it's gapping down, it's a short. If it gaps up and it rates 20 points or more, it's a long. So the market gapped down in the SPY index on August 24th and I rated it. It rated 16 points. So that told me that the market wasn't going to fall through lower and then the market opened on the day of the gap. In the first five minutes of the day, it swooshed. It did a stock swoosh, and then it negated the swoosh, flipped, and has held. And I'm going to show you something here. And the thing I'm gonna show you is what gives me the confirmation and conviction that the market is higher. And this is one of these things where, here, I'll just show you so you can see my face at the same time. If you didn't know what a stock swoosh was, you'd have no idea what I'm talking about. And since I invented it, if you didn't do my class, you would have no idea what I'm talking about <laughs> because I invented it. But what I invented is a name, a name. I just made up the name, the stock swoosh, but it actually accurately, accurately defines what happens when a stock does something in reference to the price movement. Okay. So it depicts and defines the price action in a stock or the market or an ETF like the SPY we're talking about right now. And, and, and it works, okay? It, it, it's, it's true, it's works. It's one of the best things that I've ever figured out in the market and I've actually never seen it fail. So what do we learn from what happened on the 24th this day here? We learned that the market opened and swooshed but was negated. That tells me that the low of this tail here of the day of the tail of the day, okay, let's just go. 182.40, that 182.40 could be the low of the market for the rest of the calendar year and beyond. I have no idea, but I'm telling you it could, okay? And remember, that gap was not a short. It didn't work as a short. It wasn't a short. It didn't rate well as a short. So when the, I saw the market today, and this is what I want to review quickly, 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 is that the market actually gapped down today. It was, it gapped down, it was bearish slash neutral. In the gap. It gapped down slightly today, as you can see on the chart. It was a small gap down. I would call this bearish slash neutral in the gap itself. However, I didn't think it was a short. And it really wasn't a short. And I knew that people would think of this as a short, but it's not. The fact that we held today, closed green, held on support in a gap down that failed to go lower, which I wouldn't have shorted and no one should have shorted, and it wouldn't have rated well, even though I didn't rate it, it wouldn't have rated well. This was not a long today, although you could have bought long and made money. It was not a short. Some days you do nothing with a stock or the market, but I will tell you right now that today's price action in the SPY gives me the confirmation and the conviction that in fact, my original bias, the one that's been following through since a long time now, if you watch all my YouTube videos, is that the market's higher. But until we get up over 200 in the SPY, we're not going to blow higher. We can do one of two things. A, trade over 200 in a normal day, just rally, rally, rally. Or B, we can gap up over 200. And I've been saying this for quite some time. In an ideal world, which I always like to say, 
because I know what something needs to do in an ideal world. In an ideal world, if it's a stock or the market does it, you just go full on into it. Otherwise, you wait, wait for the confirmation. In an ideal world, okay, the market gaps up over 200 and is an immediate buy and rallies like the Dickens to infinity and beyond. We don't have to do that to, to get back going again. We could rally up to 200. I don't know how it sets up, but I'm saying in an ideal world, we gap up to 200. But I will tell you that the activity in the market today was very, very strong. In fact, I looked through and scanned some things that looked like hardly anything even fell today. It was another confirmation. The fact that even weak stocks rallied today with the market in a gap down that fell is confirmation that the market's higher. And I love this stuff because I gotta tell you, a lot of people, with the exception of me, think the market is lower. But I'm telling you, it's not. It is not, and not only that, I don't even think we retest the tail on August 24th. We could, we might, we might. I don't, I don't, I don't even think we will, okay? If you don't understand what a swoosh is, you have no idea what I'm talking about. How would you learn that? You would learn that in the Golden Gap class or watching my live television show at night. This is Melissa Arma with StockSwish.com. Good luck, everyone. Be careful with the market. It is not a short. The fact is that the overall SPY and the QQQ's ETFs are still holding the uptrend. They are in an uptrend. Today's price action confirmed. It gave me the confirmation that the market is holding the uptrend. We do not have a nice, beautiful, solid rally until we get up over 200. I don't know how that transpires. It could gap up over 200 in an ideal world, or we could just rally up to it and then follow through higher. Either way, we're higher. Either way, we are higher. Either way, we are higher from now until the end of the year. So, triple check yourself. Don't fall into the fear and panic mode that everyone on the planet is saying. The market is still very, very strong, people. And every time I look at it, that's all that it says. This is Melissa Armour with the StockSwish.com. Have a great night, everyone. Have a wonderful weekend.